inverse function problems. We're going to go over five inverse function problems in this lesson. To get the most out of this, I encourage you to pause the video and try to work the problems one at a time, then restart the video to see how you did. Inverse function problem number one. The inverse function f to the negative one of x is f to the negative one of x equals one third x minus two. Which function represents f of x? There are a lot of ways to do this one. Let's solve this one by graphing. First placed y equals one third x minus two in y1. Graph the function. If the graph looks weird, you might try the standard window, which you can get by pressing zoom, then six. Next we go back to enter y equals x in y2. Graph the two functions together. I'll now trace y equals x in red to get a better look at the line of reflection we need for an inverse function. Now we'll go back to enter answer A, y equals 3x plus 6 in y3. Now we'll graph the three functions. This one looks pretty good. If we want to get the true perspective, we can go to zoom square by pressing zoom 5 shown here and it looks even better as reflection. We tried the other answer choices. This one is answer B, y equals 3x minus 6, definitely not a reflection. After trying the other functions, we choose answer A. We can also find the inverse by switching x and y, then solving for y. Here we rewrite the function as y equals 1 third x minus 2. Now we switch places of the x and the y, so we have x equals 1 third y minus 2. Now we'll swap sides, so we have 1 third y equals 2 minus 1 third uh, y minus 2 equals x. Next we add 2 to both sides of the equation. Negative 2 plus 2 cancel on the left side of the equation. We bring down 1 third y equals x plus 2. Then we solve for y by multiplying the whole equation by 3. And that leaves us with y equals 3x plus 6, and that's again our answer A. Inverse function problem 2. The point 2 comma negative 6 is graphed on a coordinate plane. Which coordinate represents its inverse? There are different ways to do this problem as well, but probably the easiest way to do this is to take the original point 2 comma negative 6 and just switch the position of the x and y coordinates. So that becomes, that x becomes y and y becomes x, so we have the coordinates negative 6 comma 2, and that would be answer D. Inverse function problem 3. For the plotted triangle ABC, which sets of ordered pairs are the inverse of triangle ABC? Again, many ways are available to do this problem. I think that since we have ordered pairs as answers, a good strategy would be to find the ordered pairs of points A, B, and C. The coordinates of A are 2 comma 3, the coordinates of B are 2 comma 8, and the coordinates of C are 4 comma 6. Then we can write the inverses of these coordinates right below them. A becomes 3 comma 2, B becomes 8 comma 2, and C becomes 6 comma 4. And these inverse points match answer C. Inverse function problem four, the graph of f of x is shown below. Which graph best represents its inverse function f to the negative one of x? Again, there are a lot of ways to do this problem, but I think that a good strategy would be to draw the original line onto each answer choice to see which one is the best reflection about the line y equals x. And here is the line drawn on graph A, and here's the line drawn, drawn on graph B, here's the line drawn on graph C, and here's the line drawn on graph D. And where is that line y equals x that they must reflect about? I've drawn it here in black for all four answer choices. Well, answer B is pretty close. Answer A is definitely the right answer. It's a reflection about that line y equals x. Inverse function problem five. The table below represents f of x. Which table represents f to the negative one of x, the inverse function of f of x? I didn't think this problem was very easy, but there are a lot of ways to do it. I think that what I would do is take the table f of x and reverse the coordinates, which I've done here in red. Now we'll look at each table. There is negative 1 comma 1 in the red coordinates, and it doesn't match the negative 1 comma 4 in the table here, so we can cross off answer A. And we look at the table for answer choice C, and it has negative 1 comma negative 2.5 and that doesn't match either, so we cross off answer C. 
Now for the table in B, we do have negative 1 comma 1 and that matches. We also have 1 comma 2 in the red table that matches the 1 comma 2 in the B table. And finally we also have 3 comma 3 in the red table that matches 3 comma 3 in the B table. And we see that on table D that 3 comma 3 does not match 3 comma 8 in the D table so we cross that one off too. So B is undoubtedly our right answer. This concludes our problem set on inverse functions. This has been Inverse Function Problems. Thanks for viewing.